And that's what Els has done. And similarly, here is uh, the irrepressible Jay Haas. 68 years of age, second oldest man in the field. Mm -hmm. Starts off with a birdie. Rich, the first hole, the only hole on the golf course. All right, here's Jay Haas at the seventh. How about this stat? This is his 17th start. Watch this putting stroke from Jay Haas. He works with Stan Utley. Stan is down in the Scottsdale area. In fact, Jay had me go work with. Second shot now at the eighth for Jay Haas having a really good day. Trying to work this one in a little. Right to left, to the left hole location. Didn't quite get it. 50th USGA Championship Jay is competing in this week. Well, uh, for one thing, a golf swing that has not put a lot of pressure on his body throughout his career. Wonderful rhythm. Uh, uses his body, but also uses his hands and arms. Very old school way of swinging the club. Uh, great short game, and he's always wielded this club very well. We spent some time a couple of weeks ago with Jay in Greenville, South Carolina at his home at the Haas Family Golf Center, a new driving range that Jay and his family has purchased. Ten birdies in that final round. It's a second for Jay Haas at the ninth. What a beautiful shot that is. Three birdies and two bogeys for Jay on this front side. Watch Jay, his grip is going to stay pretty quiet, but the head's going to move a long ways. Works very well on left to right breaking putts because most players' tendency is to try to keep the left wrist firm Correct. and the face never really releases. Jay Haas, the Wake Forest product, grew up at the feet of the great Arnold Palmer. He didn't like it, but it's on the green. A long ways from that whole location. Look at that ball uh, still moving. Is it going to stay on the green? That's the question, <laughs> yeah. Peter. And the stroke is smoother, uh, and, and he putts much better. Over at 11, about a 65-footer for Jay Haas for birdie. Again, trying to get it somewhere close to have a chance for your par. Jay Haas back at 11 now for his par. This is a bit of a fooler, Gary. We've seen some putts turn to the left up the hill. Ooh. He read it correctly. Yes, he did. Slipped it in there. Get two putt. And out of the left rough, fortunately a short shot. Come on, and there you go. Utilize that sideboard. Well done. Age of 60. Absolutely incredible. Hale Irwin, the leader with 45 wins, had three wins over the age of 60. For oh, yes. perfect. There, sure. there was an example, Gary, you talked Ooh, about boy. the way that Jay lets the putter head release. Looking straight down on Jay Haas. And that is turning left towards the rough. Let's see if he gets a decent lie. If he's going to play the shot in the air, which I think he can, he carries it over that slope. And let it release. Again, another example of the work that he's Ooh. done with Stan Utley. Did you see how much the club had moved? Right. Don't forget he made the cut with Bill Haas in New Orleans in the team event, so he can still play. Telling you. Stan Utley. One shot back, 14T, Jay Haas. That is right down downtown. That's perfect there. Swing is still fairly long yeah. and languid. Well, absolutely. I mean, you know, wonderful temp. In contact, trying to cut back. Asked for it to be the right weight. It's a good shot. All right. What a beautiful stroke. Yeah. So, Peter, uh, you guys that work with Stan Utley, grip pressure, 
I assume, fairly light to allow that putter head to release? Correct. You're gripping the club just enough to be able to allow the club head to set in the back backswing. Yeah, so important to obviously get it in the fairways, just every hole is. Yeah. And that is going up that left side towards the bunkers. Yeah, he, he knows it. Oh, you got luck? Well, I don't know if it's luck I, or not. Maybe but in, the, in the grass. Came out okay. Oh, it's got to get up just a little. Oh, that's okay. It did not spin back into the, the heavy stuff. Wow, that was slow. Yeah, they can start the ball on that line. They just need to know it as Jay's tapping this in for his par. Yeah. So, Peter, technically that was a one putt because he missed the green, right? Correct. He's now had 10 one putts in the first 15 holes. Wow. This is going up right center. That should be fine. At a U.S. Open with the thick rough at 68. Really important to hit fairways because oh, he absolutely. doesn't quite have the strength Correct. that other guys might have. Contact was good, drawing back towards the flag. Looks good if it's the right club. Mm. Oh, oh, it oh. is. Wow, what a oh. shot. Standing. Woo! Actually played with Jerry Barber, Barber at the Masters one time. Mm. All right. Great three there. Silky smooth. Gives you a putt straight back up the hill. This is the seven iron. Right at 181 is the actual, like you said, adjusted. It's probably about 170 yards. He's probably trying to hit a 165 yard shot. That is going towards the left side of the green. He needs to get down first. Yeah, it's fine. It's going to be in that low area down there, Jim. There's no interruption, kind of like our coverage. <laughs> How about it? Oh, my oh wow. <laughs> oh. Grabs his head like well he just there, had a brain freeze there. How's that not go in? I don't know, but with 10 one putts and 17 holes, he's got <laughs> he's these greens figured out. It. You know, yeah. I mean, his speed has been phenomenal. Well, I partnered with Jay and the Legends of Golf for I don't know how many years. Mm, that's solid, but it's cutting back towards the center. Should be all right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very good, man. He is on. It's on a good line if it's the club again. Just yeah. a little short. Yeah, that's fine. Good effort. How about this, Rich? This 67 is going to tie Jay's low round in this championship. He's done it now four times. The last time he did it, round three in 2006 mm. at Prairie Dunes Country Club. How about that?